किम दुस्सहम न साधु नाम विदुषा किमेक्षित किम कार्य कदरिया What is painful for saintly persons who strictly adhere to the truth? How could there not be independence for pure devotees? Who know the Supreme Lord as the substance? What yeah. deeds are forbidden for person of the lowest character, and what cannot be given up for the sake of Lord Krishna by those? Who have fully surrendered at his lotus feet? Four points. Four points. Since the eighth son of Devaki was to kill Kamsa, one might ask what the need was for Vasudeva to deliver the first-born child. The answer is. That Vasudeva had promised Krishna, Kamsa. Sorry. That Vasudeva had promised Kamsa that he would deliver all the children born of Devaki. Kamsa, being an asura, did not believe that the eighth child would kill him. He took it for granted. That he might be killed by any of the children of Devaki. Vasudeva, therefore, to save Devaki, promised to give Kamsa every child, whether male or female. From another point of view, Vasudeva and Devaki were very pleased when they understood. That the supreme personality of Godhead, Krishna, would come as their eighth son. Vasudeva, a pure devotee of the Lord, was eager to see Krishna appear as his child from the eighth pregnancy of Devaki. Therefore, he wanted to deliver all the children quickly, so that the eighth turn would come and Krishna would appear. He begot one child every year, so that Krishna's turn to appear would come as soon as possible. दृष्टवा समत्वम तक्षावरे हैं सत्य चाय व्यवस्थित हम कंसस्तुष्टमना राजन प्रहसन्निध मत्रवीत माय डियर किंग परिक्षित व्हेन कृष्णा साउ दैट वासुदेवा बीइंग सिचुएटेड इन ट्रूथफुलनेस was completely equipoised in giving him the child. He was very happy. Therefore, with a smiling face, he spoke as follows: Here is the word samatvam is very significant in the words. Samatvam refers to one who is always equipoised, unaffected by either happiness or distress. Vasudeva was so steadily equipoised that he did not 
seen in the least agitated when delivering the first born child into the hands of kamsa to be killed in bhagavad gita it is said dukheshu anudvigna mana sukheshu vigata spra in the material world one should not be very eager to be happy nor should one be very much disturbed by material distress lord krishna advised arjuna o son of kunti matra sparsatu kanteya chitoshna sukha dukha dha agamapayino nityas tams tiksava bharata o son of kunti the non permanent appearance of happiness and distress and their disappearance in due course are like the disappearance are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons they arise from sense perception o son of varata and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed the self realized soul is never disturbed by so called distress or happiness and this is especially true of an exalted devotee like vasudeva who showed this by his practical example vasudeva was not at all disturbed when delivering his first child to come such to be killed pratiya tu kumaroyam na hasma dasti me bhayam astmad yu yurge garbhan mrityur me vihiti phila o vasudeva you may take back your child and go home i have no fear of your first child it is the eighth child of you and devaki i am concerned with because this is the child by whom i am destined to be killed तथेति सुतमादायानकुंदुनंदवाक्य मसतो विजीतात्म वासुदेव एग्रीड एंड टुक हिज चाइल्ड बैक होम बट बिकॉज कंसा हैड नो कैरेक्टर एंड नो सेल्फ कंट्रोल Vasudeva knew that he could not rely on Kamsa's word. Nanda dhyaye braje gopa yansha misham cha yoshita Vrishna yo Vasudeva dhyaya devakya dhyaya yadustriya sarve vay devata praya. इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ वृंदावन हेडेड बाय नंद महाराज एंड इंक्लूडिंग हिज एसोसिएट कॉहड मेन एंड देयर वाइफ्स वेर नन 
but denizens of the heavenly planets. O Maharaja Parikshit, best of the descendants of Bharata. And so two were the descendants of the Varsni dynasty, headed by Vasudeva and Devaki and the other women of the dynasty of Yadu, the friends, relatives and well-wishers of both Nanda Maharaj and Vasudeva, and even those who externally appeared to be followers of Krishna were all demigods. As previously discussed, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, informed Lord Brahma that Lord Krishna would personally descend to mitigate the suffering on the earth. The Lord ordered all the denizens of the heavenly planets to take birth in different families of the Yadu and Vrishni dynasties and in Vrindavana. Now this verse informs us that all the family and friends of the Yadu dynasty, the Vrishni dynasty, Nanda Maharaj and the Gopas descended from the heavenly planets to see the pastimes of the Lord as confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, the Lord pastimes. As previously discussed, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, informed Lord Brahma that Lord Krishna would personally descend to mitigate the suffering on the earth. The Lord ordered all the denizens of the heavenly planets to take birth in different families of the Yadu and Vrishni dynasties and in Vrindavana. Now this verse informs us that all the family and friends of the Yadu dynasty, the Vrishni dynasty, Nanda Maharaj and the Gopas descended from the heavenly planets to see the pastimes of the Lord. As confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, the Lord's pastimes consist of Paritaranaya, Paritranai Sadunam, Vinasai Duskritam, saving the devotees and killing the demons. To demonstrate these activities, the Lord called for devotees from different parts of the universe. There are many devotees who are elevated to the higher planetary systems. Praprya Punyam Kartam Lokan Siktava Saswata Samatham 
सुचिनम श्रीमतम गेह योगा भरस्तो विजाय द अनसक्सेसफुल योगी आफ्टर मैनी मैनी इयर्स ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट ऑन द प्लैनेट्स ऑफ द पायस लिविंग एंटिटीज is born into a family of righteous people or into a family of rich aristocracy some devotees having failed to complete the process of devotional service are promote promoted to the heavenly planets to which the pious are elevated and after enjoy their day may be directly promoted to the place where the lords pastimes are going on this is more this is more that one when lord krishna was to appear the denizens of the heavenly planets were invited <coughs> to see the past times of the lord <coughs> and thus it is stated here that the members <coughs> of the yadu and vrishni dynasties and the inhabitants of vrindavan we are demigods gods or almost as god <coughs> as demigods gods even those who externally help the activities of kamsa belong to the higher planetary systems the imp- the imprisonment and release of vasudeva and the killing of various demons were all manifestation of the past times of the lord and because the devotees would be pleased to see these activities personally they were all invited to take birth as friends and relatives of these families as confirmed in the prayers of kunti natonatya dharo yatha the lord was to play the part of a demon killer and a friend son and brother to his devotees and thus these devotees were all summoned etat kansaya bhagwan chan sansabhe yatya narada bhumer marayana mananam dattyanam cha vadhodyamam once the great saint narada approached kamsa and informed him of how the demonic persons who were a great burden on the earth were going to be killed thus kamsa was placed 
into great fear and doubt. Whenever there is a burden created by the demons, and whenever the innocent devotees are distressed by demoniac rulers, the Lord appears in due course of time to kill the demons and the assistants of his real representatives who are technically called demigods. In the Upanishadas, it is stated that the demigods are different parts of the Supreme Personality of Godhead as it is the duty of the parts of the body to serve the whole. It is the duty of Krishna's devotees to serve Krishna as he wants. Krishna's business is to kill the demons and therefore this should be a devotee's business also. Because the people of Kali Yuga are fallen. However, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, out of kindness for them, did not bring any weapon to kill them. Rather, by spreading Krishna consciousness, love of Krishna, he wanted to kill their nefarious demoniac activities. This is the purpose of the Krishna consciousness movement. Unless the demoniac activities on the surface of the world are diminished or vanquished, no one can be happy. The program for the conditional soul is fully described in Bhagavad Gita. And one simply has to Follow these instructions to become happy. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has therefore prescribed Harir Nam, Harir Nam, Harir Namai Kevaram, Klau Nastya, Nastya, Nastya Ugatir Anyatha. Let people chant the Hare Krishna mantra constantly, then their demoniac tendencies will be killed and they will become first-class devotees, happy, happy in this life and in the next. Yadun matva sura niti deva kya garva sambhutam vishnum cha swavadam prati deva kim vasudevam cha nigriha nigadair grihe jatam jat mahan putram tayo ranjana sankaya after the departure of the great saint narada comes the thought that all the members of the Yadu dynasty were demigods and that any of the children born from the womb of Devaki might be Vishnu. 
fearing his death, Kamsa arrested Vasudeva and Devaki and chained them with iron shackles. Suspecting each of the children to be Vishnu. Kamsa killed them one after another because of the prophecy that Vishnu would kill him. Sridhar Jiva Goswami in his notes on this verse has mentioned how Narada Muni gave Kamsa this information. This incident is described in the Hari Vansa. Narada Muni went to seek Kamsa by providence and Kamsa received him very well. Narada therefore informed him that any one of the sons of Devaki might be Vishnu. Because Vishnu was to kill him. Kamsa should not spare any of Devaki's children. Narada Muni advised. Narada's intention was that Kamsa by killing the children would increase his sinful activities so that Krishna would soon appear to kill him. Upon receiving the instruction of Narada, instruction of Narada Muni, Kamsa killed all the children of Devaki, one after another. The word Ajana Sankaya indicates that Lord Vishnu never takes birth Ajana and that he therefore appeared as Krishna. Taking birth just like a human being, Kamsa attempted to kill all the babies born of Devaki and Vasudeva, although he knew that if Vishnu were born, he would not be killed. Actually, it came to pass that when Vishnu appeared as Krishna, Kamsa could not kill him. Rather, as foretold, it was he who killed Kamsa. One should know in truth how Krishna, who takes his birth transcendently, acts to kill the demons, but is never killed. When one perfectly understands Krishna in this way, Through the medium of Shastra, one becomes immortal, as the Lord says in Bhagavad Gita. Janma karma chame divyam evam yu veti tattvata Taktva deham punar jarma naiti maam eti surjana one who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, 
take his birth again in this material world but attains my eternal abode o arjuna matram pitram bhatrin shravansa sruhidastha nanti isu tripto dubdha rajan prayasu king's greedy sense gratification on this earth almost always kill their enemies indiscriminately so satisfy their own whims they may kill anyone even their mothers fathers brothers or friends we have seen in the history of india that the ruler aurangzeb killed his brother and nephews and imprisoned his father to fulfill political ambitions there have been many similar instances and kamsa was the same type of king kamsa did not hesitate to kill his nephews and imprison his sister and his father for demons to do such things is not astonishing nonetheless although kamsa was a demon he was aware that lord vishnu cannot be killed and thus he attained salvation ha yeah, so some in this case comes a like demon means completely controlled by ego or means really not only ego every kind of non human thinking ego is also there mm. is a fear fullness is also there This is so attached with his body. Mm, mm, mm. Fully, fully fully bodily consciousness. Mm. But one to leave this to enjoy this all material existence, all everything was. Mm, mm. even partial understanding of the activities of lord vishnu makes one eligible for salvation kamsa knew a little about krishna that he could not be killed and therefore he attained salvation although he thought of vishnu krishna as an enemy mm. what then is to be said of one who knows krishna perfectly from the description of shastras like bhagavad gita it is therefore the duty of everyone to read bhagavad gita and understand krishna perfectly this will make one's life successful atmanmi sanjatam janan prag vishnu natam mahasuram kalanemim yaduvi savairudhyat in his previous birth kamsa had been a great demon named kalanemi mm. and been killed by vishnu upon learning this information from narada 
Kamsa became envious of everyone connected with the Yadu dynasty. But how could Vishnu kill him without him being liberated? Wasn't it that if Krishna or Vishnu killed someone, they were also liberated? Or? Liberated, but till the, they, are, they have been cursed. So till the time they need to, their time doesn't finish. Ah. They have to come. And again, the Leela Vistar is also their second mm. thing. Mm. The some Leela is uh, left mm. to perform by Supreme Personality. And most of the things, if the devotees are waiting for him since long, mm. and time to time he has to come. And when he comes, the foremost thing is to give darshan or to please Devotees first. Mm. And the second thing, what is that? To kill the demons who are disturbing the all humankind. Mm. Two, both things are there. Means he doesn't come for one thing. Yeah. His purpose to when he comes are various. Mm. Persons who are demons. Enemies of Supreme Personality of Godhead are called Asuras. Mm. As is stated in Bhagavad Gita, the Asuras, because of their enmity toward the Supreme Personality of Godhead, take birth after birth in Asura families and therefore glide down to the darkest hellish region. Ugrasenam cha pitram yadu bhojand ka dipam swayam nigriya bhuje sur senan mahabala Kamsa, the most powerful son of Ugrasena, even imprisoned his own father the king of the Yadu, Bhoja and Andaka dynasties, and personally ruled the states known as Surasena. The state known as Mathura was also included within the states known as Sursena. <coughs> Additional notes for this chapter. Regarding transmigration of the soul, Srila Madhvacharya gives the following notes. When one is awake, whatever one sees or hears is impressed upon the mind, which later works in dreams to show one different experiences. Although in dreams one appears to accept a different body. For example, when one is awake, one does business and talks with customers. And similarly, in dreams, one meets various customers, talks about business, and gives quotations. Madhvacharya says, therefore, that dreams take place according to what one sees, hears, and remembers. When 
one reawakens of course one forgets the body of the dream this forgetfulness is called apasmriti <laughs> thus we are changing bodies because we are sometimes dreaming sometimes awake and sometimes forgetful forgetfulness of our previously created body is called death hmm. Hmm. and our work in the present body is called life and after death one cannot remember the activities of one's previous body whether imaginary or factual the agitated mind is compared to agitated water reflected the sun and the moon actually the sun and the moon reflected on the water do not exist there nonetheless they are reflected according to the movements of the water similarly when our minds are agitated we wander in different material atmospheres and receives different types of bodies this is this Correct. Bhagavad Gita as guna sanga karanam guna sango saya. Madhvacharya says gunanunu badha san. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says Brahmananda Brahmite Kona Bhagyavan Jeeva. The living entity rotates up. and down throughout the universe sometimes in the upper planetary system sometimes in the middle and lower planetary systems sometimes as a man sometimes a god a dog a tree and so on this is all due to the agitation of the mind the mind must therefore be steadily fixed as it is said save mana krishna badar minde one should fix one's mind at the lotus feet of krishna and then one will become free from agitation this is the instruction of the garuda purana and in the naradiya purana the same process is described as stated in bhagavad gita yanti deva vrata devan the agitated mind goes to the different planetary systems because it is attached to the different kinds of demigods but one does not go to the abode of the supreme personality of godhead by worshiping the demigods for this is not supported by any vedic literature man is the architect of his own fortune in this human life one has the facility with which to understand one's real situation the man is the architect to his own fortune yeah his own fortune that means then because one one right now we should not be architect good cool, if is architect of the planning 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 you want to which type of Thing you want to do in life, yeah. 
So and by what which type of wing what you will get? Yeah. Architect is only mapping map. Map. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And if we surrender to Gurdiv, he makes he makes blueprint and we just have to build. Yeah. And then we have to build something. So as long as we are own architects, we're trapped in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this human life, one has the facility with which to understand one's real situation. And one can decide whether to wander around the universe forever or return home, back to God. Mm. This is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Nivartante Mittu Samsara Vartamani. Mm. There is no such thing as chance. When a tree is burning in a forest, fire and although the nearest tree is spared, a distant tree catches fire. This may appear to be chance. Similarly, one may seem to get different types of bodies by chance. But actually, one receives these bodies because of the mind. Mm. The mind flickers between accepting and rejecting. And according to the acceptance and rejection of the mind, we receive different types of bodies. Mm. Although we superficially seem to obtain these bodies by chance. Even if we accept the theory of chance, the immediate cause for the change of body is the agitation of the mind. Mm. 